What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to install the Vibe Build. I didn't want to do this video with the last one because I'm going to take you through all the steps to install the Vibe Build as well as the Echo Wizard add on installer, just so you can have some more add ons to put into your Kodi. Um, and so, some of you guys have been asking how to do all that fresh. So I wanted to take this opportunity to take you through all of the steps so you know exactly how to do it if you had a fresh copy of Kodi. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to navigate over to systems, and go into file manager, and then you want to add a source. So click on where it says none. And then you're going to want to type this in http colon slash slash echocoder.co.uk slash repo and then click done now down here we need to name our source so go ahead and click there and get this out of there and I like to do the asterisk thing and I will call my source echo wizard and then press done now when you have done it correctly it'll look like this so just click OK I'm gonna click escape because I've already got it now when that's done get out of there and you're gonna wanna go to systems go down to add-ons and then go into install from zip file in here you're gonna have to look for your echo source or echo wizard or whatever you've called it click in there and then you can go ahead and just install the repository. Once that's done, click up one and go into install from repository. And then what you're going to want to do here is locate your echo repository. We're going to go into program files and in here you're going to have everything that you're going to need. You have the echo add-on installer, echo tv guide, and echo wizard all in one shot. You can just download all of these. So we're going to be using the Echo Wizard today. So once these are downloaded and the add-ons have been enabled, we're going to get out of here and go back to the home screen by pressing Escape. Now we're just going to left arrow over to Programs and click Enter. And then we're going to look for the Echo Wizard and click Enter. And now we're going to go down to Builds. So here is before before we get started with the installation I like to caution you if you have a Kodi setup right now that you enjoy that everything works for you and you're liking the way it you know the look and feel and everything here is where I will caution you to back up your system because if by chance you don't really enjoy the build or you want to try something new it's always good to be able to go back to your original settings so simply go into the maintenance tools located in the wizard and then here you can back up and restore and you're gonna wanna make a full backup so just go ahead and do that it'll walk you through the steps it's a really easy process and it will not take much time so once you are all set up with that then we're gonna go ahead and install the build from the build section here Now, if you guys need a more in-depth video on how to back up your uh, Kodi, I do have a video for you in the cards that you can click on, and that will show you in-depth steps on how to back up your Kodi. So now what we want to get is the Vibe build. And as you can see, it's already quite popular. So go ahead and install that. Click Download and you're going to click yes. That's just telling you not to save your favorites. Um, and then you're going to click, well, if you have track and real debris set up, this is your preference. I choose to remove it because I don't have mine set up. And this will take just a couple seconds. I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so now it's going to say you don't need to force close your Kodi um, in order to make the build start. Simply go ahead and click OK to enjoy the build. And here you are, you now have the vibe build. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and share. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
If you liked my videos and my tutorials do help you out, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support continues to motivate me to do what I do. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.